Hey everybody, Jeffrey here, and it's time to decorate my front porch for the holidays. So I've been digging around in the basement, and I dug back out my vintage snowman, and a bag full of garland for my front window, some little miniature Christmas trees, a metal poinsettia, and a bunch of wreaths. The transition between fall and holiday decorations uh, is the worst, isn't it? But anyway, I bought some spiral trees uh, about five years back, and I never put them out. I did put them out the first year, and I put them out in the yard, but this time I'm going to put them on my porch because I didn't really want to run in an extension cord from where you plug it in to the driveway, across the yard, and it cross the pathway and I don't want anybody tripping on it. So anyway, let me show you. So the plan this year is to put them up on the porch. I have them up here already. I'm just gonna position them where I want them to go. All the lights do work on them. Like I said, they're about five years old. Just sitting in the basement. You know how that is, something's staring at you, but you forget about it. So I have a bunch of pumpkins left. My concrete pumpkins from a DIY I did. And a bunch of pumpkins over there. All right, let me get started. It's the next day because last night I was running out of light. 
I forget that it gets dark so early nowadays. So back out here on my porch, excuse the mess, you know how it does in between decorating. I decided to put out my little fir tree that I bought last year on sale after Christmas. It's four and a half feet tall. And last night I went ahead and put some lights on it just to see what it looked like. Some light blue lights and lit up my snowman and my spiral trees. And with that, and including the porch light, it gets pretty bright up here. And I was afraid that it was gonna drown the tree out. So I went ahead and put the lights basically on the outside of the tree. That way, hoping it'll show up a little better from the street. I might decorate it up a little bit. I'm gonna put some little ornaments on it, maybe some beads and maybe something on top. All right, let me continue. Haha, uh -huh. the lights look like they're in rows from down here, but from in up here, it looks okay. I'll mess with it a little bit. And I found a red bow, and I just used basically a white towel at the bottom for a skirt. And um, I'll straighten up the beads a little bit and see what happens. All finished good for an outside tree right I wanted to keep it simple and put the same color of ornaments on something that would show up either red or white and I ended up with the red because it was the first one I pulled out of the box so red she got let me get up on the porch I'm down here on the ground and then next I want to put away or should I say put in the backyard on the back patio the strawberry containers the mint and the hyacinth and then find somewhere to put these pumpkins these are the ones that are left over I threw away probably I don't know 15 maybe 20 of them uh, these have ha actually have lasted about a good month and a week, I would say. So anyway, I might cut holes in them a little bit and put them out for the squirrels.
And the last thing I want to do this weekend is to put up some garland. I usually do these windows over here, but this year I also want to do these windows. These windows are a little bit shorter in width, so I think I have the perfect amount. So from years past, I have this garland that matches the wreath that I want to put up above, above to the right on those smaller windows. And then these, or this garland that I bought last year, I cut in half. I think it's about 25 feet long. So I'm gonna put that one over there so that way it'll go over the top and go down the sides a little bit. And I'm also too lazy to run down to the store to get some new staple gun staples. So I have some push pins. All right, let me get started. I ended up finishing up late last night because my neighbor girl down the street came down. She has one of those Flemish bunnies, one of those giant bunnies. It gets out every once in a while. The kids let them out. And it comes down here because it knows I'm gonna feed it. Or her, should I say. I forget the little name. It's cute. Uh, anyway, the rabbit was on the side of my house. So, I got this one done. And next I want to do this one like I said. But first I want to get the wreath up there. So I have my ladder out and I'm going to switch that out with a more Christmassy wreath. And then on this window that needs to be painted, on or these windows, I'm going to put a hook in the middle and a few nails here and there along the sides. Alright, let me get started. And got it up. This one was a little bit of a pain to put up um, because of the bushes. I cut these bushes back last year and as you can tell the stems on it or branches on it are really thick and they don't want to move so finagling the ladder around wasn't an easy job. So anyway I put up three ice screws one in the middle and two on the each side and then a few little nails just to make sure. It is a little shorter than that side over there, but it's okay. It's Christmas. Almost anything goes. And I might put some lights in the window. I'm not really sure. I have enough lights to go around these bushes and above the roof line, but this is a brand new roof and I don't want to mess it up because the little hooks go right on the shingles and sometimes they like to crack them so all right I'll give you a little tour when I get it all finished because there's a couple other things I want to put out I'm pretty much finished with the porch and front of the house decorations I did end up putting lights in this window I taped them all around on the inside. You know how it is. You want them to kind of face all the same way. And like I said, I ended up not doing the roof line this year because it's a new roof. And I have the little hooks for it, but I didn't want to take the chance on messing up the shingles. And I also did these windows because I have a, light, a lot of lights going on on the porch. And I wanted the house to kind of balance out. Alright, let me show you. 
the light is kind of funny, so please excuse that. I got all my wreaths up. I still have to put up my wreath on my door. And I feel like I have a good excuse for all the pumpkins because it is technically still fall. So I've got my little trees up. My snowman, my vintage clothespin reindeer. I got that at an antique fair a few years ago. A birdcage and a wreath holder, more pumpkins, and here are my white tree spiral lights. And then an old sleigh with some bears my grandmother gave me for years ago. And I've got my tree up, my vintage snowman, and here's my little Charlie Brown tree. I've had that for years and years and it was stuffed in a box and kind of forgot about it. So I put some lights on it and stuck it out on the porch. Anyway, I'll light it all up and show you guys later when it gets dark. Well, that extra set of 100 lights came in handy. I got to do this garland with it over these windows. Since I didn't do the lights on the inside of these windows, but I did over on the other side of the house and not the garland, I thought maybe it'll balance the house out a little bit. There is a couple more things that I want to put out, but I'm pretty much done for now. I want to get inside and start decorating my tree. All right, guys. Hope you enjoyed my little video, and I will see you in the next one.